sure you're aware everyone on this committee believes and supports social mobility too, which is why, as my colleague has already mentioned, we're so concerned about the types of children that are ending up in alternative provision. And a colleague mentioned 55% of 5 to 10 year olds in Prus are eligible for free school meals. Children in care are twice as likely to be excluded. 77% of children in schools for excluded children have a recognised SEN. Now, you've already dismissed already that you don't believe the cause of all these exclusions and off-rolling are because of uh, zero tolerance behaviour policies or, or progress aid. So I wonder, Minister, if you think it's because of funding, because that came up on the panel before. They talked about wanting this support around the child, and as I'm sure you're aware, support around the child outside of the school is no longer available because of the cuts to children's services and, and uh, um, not as much family support as there used to be. So do you think that it's that lack of money for support around the child within the school that might be leading to so many children from such disadvantaged backgrounds being excluded? Well, what I don't have in front of me are the figures on a timeline. Um, the figures you cite are absolutely right as a snapshot today, but what would be interesting would be to see how that, how, what the figures look like going back 10 years, going back 15 years. And we will send those figures to you, to the committee, so that you can see whether anything has happened in recent years to indicate uh, any veracity in the, in the point that you're making. We do need to make sure that the uh, that special educational needs uh, provision is of a high quality. We've increased funding for the high needs block by a billion pounds since uh, 2013 uh, in, in order to, to ensure that we are properly funding within the constraints of the overall economic policy. Um, uh, and uh, and we need to make sure that both special schools and special units within mainstream education and mainstream education itself properly cater for children with special educational needs. As I mentioned to you previously, Minister, uh, across the floor, mm. um, a group of head teachers from Hull have actually written to the uh, DfE saying that mainstream schools are having to increasingly resort to uh, fixed term and permanent exclusions to deal with challenging pupils because they don't have enough money to provide the SEN service that they want to in their schools. Do you not recognise that actually the cuts to schools are creating a problem where schools cannot simply cope, cannot create that support around the child or as so brilliantly illustrated earlier, mm. make sure that schools fit the child, not the uh, child fit the school because yes. they simply haven't got the resources to do it? Well, we can have a debate about school funding now, if you wish. We're spending record amounts on school funding. But particularly on the, on the supporting SEN children within the school, do you not accept, Minister, not going into the wider debate about school funding, that there needs to be more support for these children within schools so they don't end up being excluded? I agree with that. We need to make sure, as I said, that, that the, whether it's a special unit within a mainstream school or whether it's a, a child with SEN, in a mainstream classroom, we need to make sure those children are properly uh, catered for, whether it's with a teaching assistant or whether the special unit has the right expertise. Uh, we need to make sure that, that there are sufficient special schools for those children with severe special needs in our system. And we have uh, just about to launch later this year um, uh, you know, another wave of special free schools. Um, and so, so I don't. I don't uh, um, contradict anything you are saying. In terms of funding, as I said, you know, we're spending record amounts of, of uh, funding uh, uh, th this year, 40, uh, uh, £41 billion pounds last year, rising to £43.5 billion pounds by next year, including special needs. That's, that has increased by a billion pounds since 2013. So, you know, the funding, we are spending record amounts of f funding on our school system. 